movie has such a great cast. What's your funniest or most memorable moment from making it? I always think when I'm shooting, I need to start writing them down because they always ask. I, I like I was definitely laughing every day, but it's always hard to tell what. I mean, it was really funny when Joel. There's this really awful scene where somebody's torturing him, and they have a skin grafting machine, and they're peeling off his skin layer by layer. Ugh. And he, um, the, the skin was coming off and it was bleeding, but he was pretending like <laughs> he was like tickling him. Um, and that was stupid. It was like three in the morning, so that really made me laugh. I had to watch it through my fingers. It's so weird when you're shooting, it's not, it's because you see everything and it's like so not a big deal. And then I have trouble watching it. Like when my leg breaks in the, in the movie, like I can't watch that scene again. There's a lot of queasy moments in this film. Yeah, I just thought about the leg thing again. <laughs> um, Francis is dark. <laughs> there was a moment during the tor there's a torture scene where Jen and I are kind of like fighting for our lives in inside of a kitchen. And Jen's dog Pippi decided that Mummy was really in trouble and, and came to the rescue and was like willing to go fight this very tall German kind of guy in leather pants to try and, you know, save Mum's life. Oh. That was big Jen had to go, Pippi, it's okay. You can... What type of dog is it? Just one of those cute, sort of wispy, tiny, but kind of dogs with a lot of personality. It was a little, kind of a bit fun to do it. And and I think part of my fun was the relief of uh, the anticipation leading up to it. I was like, oh, it's gonna be so hard to do. I've got to, you know, and you, you know how long a scene takes to shoot in your head. You're like, there's gonna be all this coverage. I'm gonna have to do, you know, probably gonna be doing it all day. I'm gonna be tied to a chair in my underpants. And the prosthetics and setting the prosthetics and the bleeding and all that stuff. And I think it just became a lot easier to do than I had built up in my head. Because, you know, when you've got an actual gag in your mouth and you are actually tied to a chair and you're trying to wrestle yourself free, it's, it becomes like a physical challenge to just keep breathing and to break free that ends up putting it in the category of no acting re required. So you just do and you don't have to think. That skin grafting thing. Is that a real thing? Well, according to Francis, it's a real thing. And the way, what it's used for is to take skin off the body of a cadaver, of a dead body, uh, the first two layers of skin in order to skin graft onto people who need skin grafting, like a, like a burn victim. And uh, yeah, so it really exists, but it's meant for the purposes of good usually. But you know, <laughs> All torture scenes probably have something in them that is meant for some other purpose <laughs> that is then used to kind of like really, really hurt the person. There's one thing about writing a scene, writing a, you know, a graphically violent scene and then bringing it to the, to the screen. And I think, uh, you know, Francis did a brilliant job. And, and I think he, he, he does it in a, in a very, you know, uh, elegant way, which means, you know, he doesn't avoid the brutality of it, but at the same time, he doesn't, it doesn't overemphasize it either. So I think it's, it's still, it's brutal, but it's, I think it's still pretty bearable. There were moments we were trying to get up an escalator and Jennifer was wearing this huge dress and, you know, it, it almost got stuck and everybody <laughs> started acting like, you know, shaky and funny. It was, a, it was kind of an abstract moment. That was pretty funny.